All right, so this situation's been in development for like a couple days now, and I thought I'd throw in my two cents on the subject. So the situation is that Disney and Sony are having a little bit of a hard time coming to terms with a new deal on their character Spider-Man. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure that Spidey's story in the MCU is at a standstill. It's on pause. There are no future live-action Spidey movies planned within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, meaning he could be out. Sony might be taking Spider-Man back for themselves and possibly rebooting him yet again. I mean, they've always been in the driver's seat with Spider-Man. It's their decision what they choose to do with Spider-Man. Man. This video is going to have some spoilers for Spider-Man Far From Home, so you've been warned if you haven't seen it yet. Basically, where we're at with Spider-Man in the MCU right now is his secret identity has been busted out by a posthumous video from Mysterio, so now people know who he is. What kind of world is he going to live in now? Now, Kevin Feige has actually said that he had more story planned for Spider-Man after this. He said they have a rich opportunity right now because Spider-Man is now in a situation we've never seen him in before, where people know who he is. So he was excited about telling us the story of what happens to him after that, because it is ripe with possibilities. And you can tell he had ideas in mind. Now, Sony has released an official statement covering their dispute with Disney. And in a nutshell, paraphrasing here, but it says that they're disappointed with this divorce from Disney and Kevin Feige's departure, but he has a lot of things on his plate right now, including the new properties that were thrust upon him from Fox. So he has too much to deal with, so he can't deal with Spider-Man right now. Now, there is a small part of me that thinks that that statement from Sony is just bullshit because Kevin Feige said he has future stories planned for Spider-Man in the MCU. I mean, that mid-credit scene was amazing. You don't just leave it hanging like that. How dare they? And let's face it, at least once in our lives, we'd like to see a good third Spider-Man movie. <laughs> Be nice. But yeah, it is also true that Kevin Feige does have a lot on his plate. He just announced Phase 4, and there are like a bunch of stuff that he's working on right now. But you know, that's how it's always been with Kevin Feige. He's always had a lot of stuff on his plate. Because Marvel Studios is constantly working on like five things at once, if not more. And one more Spider-Man movie that Kevin Feige said he had plans for, that was probably one of them. So Sony's saying, oh, Kevin Feige has so much on his plate right now, he can't deal with Spider-Man. That's pretty bullshit. One funny thing about this whole situation is that celebrities have tweeted about this. Like I saw Jeremy Renner's tweet saying, yeah, Stan Lee even said that he preferred Tom Holland above everyone else. Like, they're using Stan Lee as a ploy to make Sony feel guilty or some shit. There are petitions online that fans have asked people to sign. Honestly, do those petitions ever work? They never do. Like, there are dozens of petitions to release the Snyder Cut of Justice League, but do we have it yet? No. And those petitions have been going on for a while, so they're just not effective. Honestly, it'll come down to whether Sony wants to lower their price, or if Disney wants to pay the price that Sony has offered them. Because God knows Disney has the money for it. How much money did they spend on Fox again? But if you want my honest opinion on the whole situation, situation, Spider-Man is saturated. He just is. He's like the Batman of Marvel in terms of how saturated he is. You know, Batman has tons of movies and video games and reboots. I mean, he's currently going through a movie reboot right now, or at least a recast. Same thing with Spider-Man. We have tons of movies and reboots and video games. In fact, we even have two concurrent Spider-Man movie franchises going on at the same time right now. Sony's actually in kind of a tough spot, because they're standalone, well, standalone, they're gonna turn into franchises, but they're, you know, own isolated Sony Spider-Man franchises. They're actually doing pretty well. Venom did pretty well, and I have personally thought the movie was pretty cool, but even bigger than that was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That movie was fucking huge! It blew up, it won the Oscar for Best Animated Movie. It's gonna have a sequel, if not like three sequels and a spin-off, and they're gonna make tons of money. And Venom is also gonna have a sequel. It was recently announced that Andy Serkis is gonna direct Venom 2, which honestly I think is pretty cool. He directed that Mowgli movie on Netflix that I actually thought was pretty good, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with Venom 2, I'm not gonna lie. And also Morbius, starring Jared Leto, that's coming out next year, should be pretty cool as well, hopefully. So Sony does have some things going for them, but Spider-Man is their biggest franchise, and Spider-Man Far From Home is in fact Sony's highest grossing movie of all time. Honestly, this whole divorce between Sony and Disney could just be a big ploy by Sony just to see how the fans would react, and maybe Disney and Sony will come to an agreement and Spider-Man will stay in the MCU. I do kind of hope that is the case, but honestly, since Spider-Man is so saturated and we're constantly getting Spider-Man shit waterboarded on us, I honestly wouldn't mind taking a live-action break from the webhead. And that's coming from a huge Spider-Man fan. He's one of my favorite Marvel superheroes, and I loved Far From Home. But kind of like Batman, we're so waterboarded with Batman shit, I don't mind this break we're in in Batman movies right now. Because guess what? DZ has other properties like Birds of Prey and Wonder Woman. We're gonna have those movies next year and I'm looking forward to both of those. And same thing with Marvel. We have other things to look forward to with Marvel like The Eternals and Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm not really looking forward to Black Widow, honestly. But if Spider-Man is out of the MCU and Far From Home is the last we ever see of him, then please, Sony, no more reboots, for the love of God, I do not need to see that origin story again. No one does. So Sony, if anyone there sees this, on the off chance you do, either lower your price for Disney for God's sakes, or if you're too proud, then just take a break from live action Spider-Man movies. Cause honestly, I'm sick of the origin story. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the whole situation between Disney and Sony over Spider-Man right now. So what are your thoughts on this whole situation? And also, what do you think of the sequels to Spider-Verse and Venom? Do you think they're gonna be any good? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And, don't forget to subscribe.